Hello again viewers, Los Christianas, 8.15pm We are right up near the top because I've nearly ran out of oxygen up here It's hilly up here <laughs> So we're outside the Kajarta restaurant Just next to the Beverly Hills complex Now quite near here you've got some other accommodations including I think it's the Royal Palm and some other places Hollywood Mirage not far from here as well We're going to take a wee walk down to the El Mirador strip We'll see there's an MD about Look quite quiet when I walk by it earlier on. Um, maybe gets a bit busy later on. Taurus Steakhouse across here. Now you'll notice there's a lot of taxis kicking about up, up here. They're going to be busy up here because it's hilly. So a lot of people ask me for location tips. It just depends what you like. Some people don't care what I'm up the hill. Um, my uncle's staying in Castle Harbour, which is beyond that building there, which is the Paradise Park. The Paradise Park's in quite a hilly location. A lot of families here, but so. Maybe it doesn't bother younger people. Beyond there, you've got the Dynasta complex, um, and then you've got Club Tenerife on the right hand side, and you've got Castle Harbour beyond that, and across there, you've got the Oasis Boutique. So, all these accommodations are in hilly locations. Be aware of that if you are staying here. Now, you can take a wee shortcut down here if you come out the back of Paradise Park. You're down the steps, it'll take you onto the main street that will head, head down towards the El Mirador strip. We'll head by down here anyway. This is quite a popular place, the Torres Steakhouse. Sometimes we get entertainment on as well. So they've got tapas, salads, barbecue, all sorts going on here. They're mostly known for steaks. Spare ribs, nine euros ninety. With chips, they do fish and chips as well. It's getting filmed in February and it's funny thing is earlier on it was getting quite cold so I went, I went back to the actual luxury hostel and I got um, a fleece and now I'm roasting it does look quite nice so we've got seating outside at the back as well so if you're staying up the Paradise Park Castle Harbour Castle Harbour's got its own restaurant as well so it's Paradise Park but this may be a good view option or something different so you can see it's proper Sherpa material up there up the hills there even further steep up the hill Friends stayed in the Hollywood Mirage, lovely complex, but be aware, it is hilly up there. So the Argentine Steakhouse and Italian Cuisine. Pretty busy inside actually, quite a few people in. We'll get the taxis waiting outside. They're not daft, are they? <laughs> if you've got young children especially, if you're heading any further up the hill, you're probably going to jump the taxi. To be fair, you might, um, you might basically just walk up or sorry walk down and get a taxi back that's what most people do here let's cross over we'll show you a nice Indian restaurant I've been in Balti Balti it's quite good next to that you've got the Celtic Hoops Bar Hoops Bar's never that busy unless a Celtic game's on um, when Celtic games are on you'll struggle to get a seat it's that busy it's very very busy I've done videos showing you the Rangers Bluebell Bar that's further down the hill 10 minute walk from here maybe Across in the corner, there's the El Mirador apartments I think, I've met a few viewers that actually stayed in there. I don't know how you can get bookings in there, I've never seen them for sale, I think they're private apartments. Uh, and across there we've got a really good bar, the Attic Bar, it's lovely sitting out there, especially on a warm night. It's a nice setting. Oh. In the Pasadena Centre you've got another few places, Zorco as well, Manhattan's round the back, you've got Casey's Bar, I've done a few videos in there but you can check them out anyway. So that's Balti Balti on the left hand side. Quite a nice Indians. I'm going to decide when I'm going in a wee minute, I'm not quite sure. When you get up the hill here, you, you get to a stage where you will decide to go in somewhere. It's Balti Balti, I was in there with Pal Stephen, because of Donald last time. There is the Celtic Hoops Bar. It's actually a very nice bar inside. They've got a lot of stuff up on the walls. So if you're a Celtic fan, you'll love it. If you're a Rangers fan, you'll hate it. You'll probably go to Bluebell Bar. Um, but it is actually quite a nice bar. They've done it out well. It used to be located on the round at the fun, fun Chow Strip. It was quite a small bar, but they've really increased the capacity. It's a lot bigger. Highland Paddy is a late night bar. This bar is open later than any other ones here. So you can see the entertainment who they've gone tonight. The Vagabonds, they're good, aren't they? Two Vagabonds. So part of the Vagabonds that usually play in the Bull's Head, part of the La Paz Strip. So they're playing at 11. After that, they'll have karaoke. The Compare's good. I've met, met the Compare before outside Taylor's. I've got Rod Stewart on tomorrow night and then Robbie Williams. It's a really good bar for entertainment. When a lot of the bars shut round the corner here at midnight, one o'clock, 
a lot of people head into Highland Paddy as well because it's normally open to about 2 in the morning. There's still a few people in it just now but it gets actually a lot busy later on. It's one of those bars that really fills up later on. Oh, I made a mistake yours. The El Mirador apartments are here. They weren't they ones? I don't know what ones they were. Some, somebody can tell me. But <laughs> they were. Kids play there. Soft player, Funland up the top. I've done another video on the channel. If I remember, I probably won't. I'll leave a link at the end. You can check it out up the top. So we've got the overseas uh, Asian bistro there as well. They do a variety of different cuisines in there. I heard it's really nice. My aunts have been in there, they love it. And then we've got a few other places in there as well. We've got another Indians around the corner, I love India. You've got the Olive Garden Deli. You've got um, Manhattan's there as well. You've got Casey's Bar. Casey's Bar is a really nice bar. So, we'll take a wee left here. So, at this point, if you're staying here, you've got a decision to make. If you're out for a wee late night drink, do you continue down this way to the El Mirador Strip? Or, if you're staying at the Paradise Park, do you head back up the hill? Five minute walk up the hill, Paradise Park. Just a wee bit further, maybe seven, eight minutes. Castle Harbour, Oasis Boutique across the road as well. So those are the apartments that are on a wee bit hillier locations up the hill. So be aware of that. Paradise Park used to run a free shuttle bus during the day. I don't know if they're still doing it down at the beach. Um, but walking down is a breeze. It's easy walking down here. It's a way back up. It's a killer. It's a bit cooler tonight, so you maybe not feel it tonight. There's some cracking bars in this wee strip. I love this wee strip here. Um, Rick's the compere for Dylan's bar down here. I think Shelley's playing later on. I'll pop in and see the guys. Rick and Shelley, check out the channel on YouTube. So we've got Bojangles. Um, we do entertainment, they also do food. They do Chinese food as well. It's been there for years. Happy Days is very busy during the day normally, and at night it gets busier as well. They've got karaoke on sometimes, and they've got entertainment. <laughs> You can see they do a lot of food as well, cocktails, a lot of live sports. We've got a Chinese, which one of the ones I've never been in here, is Golden City? Yeah, Golden City. I don't know why I've never been in here, but I've been in everywhere here, apart from maybe this place here. GG's really good bar as well, you, know, you bet. Um, quite busy in here at, late at night, it's one of the bars that gets busy late at the night as well. So that's GG's, well known here, great bar as well, check it out. We've got the Victoria restaurant on the left here. which again has been here for a long, long time. That's a Victoria restaurant. I think I have been in there, I had a steak once, and I think it was okay, I can't really remember. We've got Taylor's Bar on the left here, which is shut just now for refurb, but it'll be open soon. We've got Dylan's here, it's frickin' Shelly Bon soon. So that's Dylan's Bar. How you doing? Oh, All right. Hiya. How, are you? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so that's Dylan's Bar. What time's Rick on at? We have record starts at nine o'clock every night, and then our main acts always go on at ten. Okay. So it's a different act every night. And who, is Shelley, Shelley on tonight? Shelley's on tonight. At okay. 10 All right. I'll pop back and see. I'll pop back and see you. All right. Perfect. We'll look forward to it. Thanks. I'll brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. See you later. <laughs> yeah. So one of my favourite bars here. Some sad news, but it's getting done up just now. Taylor's but lounge. Uh, every time I've been to Tenerife, I've been in here. I've never came to Tenerife on any trips and never not been in here. So they're doing it up, but I think it's been open maybe about 19 years. How you doing? It's been open, I think, about 19 years. I was speaking to Andy who runs the place and he was saying, yeah, just doing it up. So it's been shut, I think, for, shut for five or six weeks and it's going to be open soon. Hopefully it'll be open by the time maybe this video's up or middle of March. We'll wait and see viewers. We're looking forward to seeing it when it's done up. Wakanda, Italian place here. It's quite nice inside. I have had a meal in here. I thought it was okay, a lot of people rave about it, I thought it was nice, the service was good, the staff were lovely, I thought the food was okay, um, it's a nice place to go for a meal, so if it may be a special occasion, I'd probably recommend it as well. Okay, so if you're looking for an Indians, we've got Daily Delights, which is one of my favourites, I'm maybe going to give them another chance, the last time I was in it wasn't that great, but normally it's very good, so we'll wait and see, alright. And then round the corner, we have got the Mongolian restaurant, so this is like a buffet style, you can help yourself. I've actually not been in here yet, but lots of people rave about it. 
say it's very nice. Let's see if we can be updating the prices. So for adults it is 15 euros 95 and for children it is 7.95 for under 10. So I think that's pretty good value for money considering you can basically go in and help yourself to lots of different Asian food, a wee selection of it. I'm tempted to give it a try because I'm not that hungry but I don't know, we'll see. Um, let me know if anyone's been in. A good selection there anyway. And then just around the corner, a couple of bars but down the bottom, five minute walk down to the promenade and the beach. As I said, it's e easy walking down. The way back up, a bit more difficult. Here we've got the Klansman and the Vault. Two bars that I like. I've been in loads of times. They've got good entertainment on. It's quite quiet just now at the Meridor Strip, but it'll get busy later on. I'm sure it will. So, Klansman, Draft Beers. But of course, we've got Tenants, Estrella, Guinness, Strongbow and Dorada. Quite a lot of people ask me about ciders. So we've got Strongbow and Draft here as well. So that's the Klansman. If you're watching live music in the Klansman, I recommend trying and get a seat inside. Um, you'll hear it better. It gets very, very busy in here at times when there's live music on. So the live music's going to start in about an hour or two and it'll get busy inside. They play on the right-hand side here. Best seats are inside for live music. Good bar, recommend it. And the Vault Bar, one of the nicest bars, I would say, in Los Cristianos, for sure. They do a good selection of beers and they do fantastic live music as well. I've heard the food's really good as well. I've not had any food in here. It's a lovely bar inside. Um, so I recommend it in here as well, that's the vault bar. Across the road we've got Olivina, a park hotel. Good location, so that concludes just a wee quick tour of the El Mirador strip. Just showing you what it's like tonight. Thanks so much for watching viewers, I'm going to go in and serve some tea and I'll pop in and see Rick and Shelley, check out the channel on YouTube. Don't forget to be out, give it a wee subscribe, it's absolutely free. Hit the wee button there, it doesn't cost a penny. See you in the next one.